from here, I just, it's hard to even explain. I mean, I, yeah, I'm lost for words. It's just, it's truly amazing, and um, yeah, I, it's hard to explain. I'm sorry. <laughs> Marcus, what were, what were your emotions when you were going doing your speech? What were you feeling at that moment? Was that hard to get through? Uh, I, I mean, I, I had to give thanks to so many people because, you know, where I am today is. Um, it's all due to, due to all those people, and um, it's hard not to get emotional because you know it's it's been a long journey, and um, you know for all those people to help me out and, and to and and to support me and uh, to believe in me um, just means the world, and uh, my emotions got the best of me for sure. Marcus, Marcus, could you explain to people who, who don't understand the concept of ohana and what it means and and the relationship between you and the state of Hawaii in this celebration that's so mutual. Yeah, uh, I mean, Ohana means family, and um, you know that's that's it right there. I mean, in Hawaii, um, you know, if if one person is successful, the entire state is successful, and um, you know, I, I, to be a part of that, it's it's some special, and you know, it's hard to explain, but um, you know, I'm just grateful to be a part of it, and, and thankful that I'm from Hawaii, and um, you know, just again, just thankful. Marcus, you won a lot of awards this week, right here in the front. You won a lot of awards this week, but did any of that prepare you for for what you went through today? Obviously, you were very emotional during your speech. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I mean, you know, again, it's just something that you dream of as a little kid, and um, you know, to stand up on the podium and, and try to make a speech after all that and after all the emotions that are going through you, it's it's definitely tough and um, you know because you I mean you're feeling so excited but at the same time it's like you got to give thanks to everybody that that's got you there and um, you know and that's what that's why I got emotional is because you know all the hard work of other people you know led me to where I am today and you know I, I just know those sacrifices weren't easy and um, you know I wish I could give them more thanks. Back left. Marcus, uh, earlier in the evening, you talked about how you had doubts in high school and how high school really made you the man you are today. Can you just talk a little bit more about your hard work and how you went from that high school kid to now a Heisman Trophy winner? Yeah, um, you know, and it's it's been a journey, um, but you know, I couldn't have done it without you know my boys back home, my family, and um, you know my teammates. You know, my my boys back home were the ones that really just believed in me and. Um, you know, without those guys' help and support, um, you know, I wouldn't be standing here today. And, um, you know, just so grateful. I mean, I, I can't emphasize it enough. I'm just so thankful for so many people because, you know, this isn't just a one-person deal. Um, you know, it's a lot of people that have, that have put uh, their heart and their, their hard work into it. And um, you know, it's, that's why it's easy to get emotional. Front center. Marcus, you now take a spot in Hawaii football lore. A lot of great players before you, Jesse Sapolu, Herman Wiedemeyer, Al Nonga, and most recently Manti Teo. You're the first to win the Heisman. Have you thought about your position, and have you thought about your relationship as a football player in relationship to those other guys and what that means to you, all that history, and now you at the pinnacle? I mean, it's just an honor to even be mentioned with those guys. Um, you know, a, lot of those pe a lot of those guys that you just mentioned, um, I grew up watching and um, admiring, and um, you know now it's just, it's a it's an honor to be a part of that group, and um, you know I hope this is just the beginning. I hope you know kids back home, you know, find the courage to continue to do this, and and you know we have another one. Far left in the back, uh, Marcus. Uh, a lot of people have have talked about your quiet leadership. Could could you describe uh, your leadership? style and and how you think it has affected the people around you yeah um, you know I've I've always been kind of quiet I've always been kind of reserved um, you know I, I tend to not use my words um, in terms of being a vocal leader and um, you know I've come a long way in that sense but you know I do believe that there's different types of leadership I think that it, um, people respond differently to different things and um, sometimes just you know, showing that you care for somebody um, means so much more than, than yelling at them or, or trying to, you know, get them to do their best. It's all just showing some, some care and, um, you know, that's, that's kind of how I lead. 
Center left. Marcus, you've won a lot of hardware the last couple days. Uh, would you trade it all, though, to win the next two games? Of course. That'd be, that, I mean, that wouldn't even be a question. Um, you know, and for me, you know, it's, it, it is a team sport. And, you know, our team goals come before any other individual goals. And, um, you know, to be part of the college football playoff and um, get an opportunity to be in the national championship, um, you know, I, I would trade everything to be, you know, the eventual winner. Back right. Marcus, uh, during your speech, you talked about uh, dreaming big and striving for greatness. Who are you referring to, the children back home in Hawaii? And could you elaborate on that point? Yeah, um, I mean, it, it was for any young athlete in general, but um, I really wanted to emphasize, you know, kids of, of Polynesian descent and, and kids from Hawaii. Um, you know, so many times, you know, in Hawaii, we're told that, you know, when we don't have the same opportunities that, that some of the mainland kids do. And, um, you know, I just, I just want, you know, people back home to realize that you can take your opportunity and make the most of it. And, um, you know, I, I can be an example of that. Second row center. Marcus, after the Colorado game, you said that you were taking mental snapshots of, of the crowd in case that was your final game in Austin. Tonight, you're on this big stage. Were you kind of reliving that again, taking snapshots of, of the room, of your parents? What, what were you thinking about and kind of visualizing? Uh, you said it best, just taking it all in. Um, you know, my heart was pounding the entire time, but, um, you know, I, I really just tried to enjoy it and, and just look around because, you know, experiences like this only come once. And I really just wanted to enjoy it and, and take it all in and, uh, you know, make sure that, you know, I never forget it. Third row right. Marcus, as emotional as this night is for you and for your family and for the people of both Oregon and Hawaii, how challenging is it going to be to, to refocus a couple of days from now and get ready to play in the playoff? Because you said this is the, that's actually the biggest goal. Honestly, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, and it's – this last couple of days have been hectic, uh, but it's been all, you know, so much fun and, and it's been a great experience. But I'm just looking forward to just getting back on the field and playing again and going back with my teammates and um, just going back to work. Um, because we do have a team goal and – uh, you know, that is the, the biggest concern. Back left by the video. Marcus, you mentioned the lack of exposure in Hawaii, but now the President of the United States, Barack Obama, Grammy Award winner Bruno Mars, and now the Heisman Trophy winner, all from Hawaii. What does that say about your home state? We have talent. You know, we have, uh, we have people that are very capable of doing any, anything that, that they would put their mind to. Um, it just... All it, all it takes is, you know, a little bit of hard work and, and some perseverance, and, um, you know, you'll find your, yourself to be, you know, successful. Far right side. Marcus, you had talked about writing your speech down on a piece of paper, and I, you delivered on that. Did you write every part of that down? Did you just take a few notes? <laughs> it's right here if you want to see it. <laughs> it's written on folder paper. But, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I... I to be honest with you, I hate public speaking, so that was tough for me, and um, I didn't want to forget anybody, and I just wanted to make sure I wrote the entire speech down and, and made sure that I got and covered everybody. Any other questions? Back right. Um, I'm sorry, just... You said you don't like public speaking, but I would imagine as a high-profile person, I imagine the next step of your career, you may be asked to do a lot of speaking. Is that something you're prepared to deal with? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, you know, I've been thrown into so many different situations uh, through my last three years uh, that I do feel that I'm prepared for it. Um, you know, I, I mean, standing in front of you folks and, and talking right now has helped me with that. And... Um, you know, it's not that I'm afraid of it. I, you know, I'll take the challenge as it comes. Um, but I mean, you know, everyone dislikes something, and that's something I just don't like. Any other questions? Yes. Sorry, Marcus, before the uh, award ceremony, I asked Coach Helfrich what the difference was, if there was any, in the anticipation of the moment for the award, as opposed to the anticipation of the moment for a game. What was it like? Was there a difference? Not too much. That's a great question. Um, you know, I think, you know, Amari and Melvin, we kind of talked about it before. And, you know, it feels like you're going into a game. And, um, 
you know, with with so much of the significant, this the war is so significant that, um, you know, it, it it can get you racing and you and you get nervous just like just like a regular football game and, um, you know, and for us we just try to handle the nerves as best as we could. Thanks, I appreciate it. Marcus, uh, you are draped in lei, both Hawaiian and Samoan. Can you tell us about that and tell us about the people outside who accosted you on the way in? <laughs> uh, well, the, the folks outside are, are some of my teachers and um, some of the people that were along or were a, a part of the journey from high school. Um, you know, that, that is my St. Louis High School is basically outside. and. Um, for them to come and, and I mean to, to give me so many lays, um, that's special and um, you know very meaningful for me and you know it meant a lot that they were here uh, to support me.